Chandrayaan 3 now India is aiming for sun mission that is Aditya and it is going to be shot by PSLV. Seven payloads are going to be there and we are with the scientist of Ayuka based in Pune. It's a center for astrophysics and they are, they have made one of the payloads. We are going to talk with them. Uh, we have Durgesh Tripathi with us and uh, the scientist. Uh, sir, please tell me how is it made and what are the features of this payload and how is it going to function over there? Right, so Solar Ultraviolet Telescope is essentially going to look at the ultraviolet radiation from the sun and uh, it is going to provide information uh, about the solar atmosphere. So in this instrument what we have is we are uh, 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 choosing different frequencies within this 2000 to 4000 angstrom band and we'll be mapping simultaneously different heights in the solar atmosphere so that we want to understand that how different layers of the atmosphere uh, is connected. At the same time, this radiation which is coming towards the Earth, it gets absorbed in the stratosphere of the Earth atmosphere. So what you're actually looking at that how the sun is working at the same time, how the sun's radiation is affecting our climate. And this particular wavelength is very, very important. It provides the crucial information that how the sun climate is connected and how much effect the sun's radiation would have in defining the ozone and oxygen uh, chemistry in the Earth's atmosphere. Right. So apart from technical details, how do you feel being a part of uh, India's first mission that's going to sun? I am over the moon. We'll talk with the director over here, sir. Kya kahenge aap? What will you have to say when this is the same laboratory wherein this payload has been developed under your direction? And how many people were involved in the entire project? I think uh, there are several people involved. In even saying it is my uh, direction is uh, maybe overestimation. There were three directors who were part of this mission. And if you take uh, students from colleges and uh, scientists at various levels, this is several hundred people. And uh, they have learned from here and uh, went to industries and other places. So the contribution is not only for building uh, this instrument, it has also built the capacity building for the country because several uh, industries have people who are trained in very sophisticated techniques uh, employed. So I think it is a good moment for us. And uh, again, uh, we would consider it as a stepping stone because this is the second step in building UV uh, telescope. First one was UV2, which was in AstroSat which was conceived by somebody else, but it was mainly built by uh, the scientists. Uh, some of the crucial components and crucial tests were done by us. Now we have done the full payload. Right. Next thing is to do the full telescope and uh, hope that uh, our team will be geared up for this and the training provided here is sufficient enough to last for several days. Tell, tell me about uh, uh, how many years did you spend to build this and tell us about the suit, uh, which is about the payload. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> we had been working on this payload, actually building part of the payload for uh, almost a decade now. So it's been an exciting decade for us to work. Uh, it has been challenging. Uh, I will mention one challenge uh, which we had to deal with. Um, sun is a very dynamic uh, star. It's not a static star. A lot of activities happen on the sun. So one of the reasons why we are building this payload is to study the activities on the sun, like the eruptions, uh, ejection of material, the flares, prominences, all kinds of activities happen on the sun. It's an amazing object to study. It's an amazing laboratory to study a number of physical processes. <clears throat> so in order to study these processes, the main problem is the satellite is so far away mm -hmm. and we may not be able to see the satellite all the time. Mm -hmm. Because we will be able to see the satellite only when the sun is visible to us. Because satellite is on the line of sight to the sun. Yeah. When we are, uh, when it is night on earth for us, we will not be able to see the satellite. But the sun is active at that time. So the satellite has to have onboard intelligence right. to react to activities on the sun and take action, change its operation mode right. in a way that it maximizes the data collection and focuses on the activities which happen on right. the sun and produce amazing science. How beautifully explained, sir. My last question to you is that uh, after a few moments you are leaving for Sri Hari Kota, what is the current feeling? Wonderful. I'm, I'm, I can't stay here. I'm ready to go. I just want to go there and watch the satellite go there. And uh, just to mention that it's just a start. <clears throat> the journey is only starting now, really. Um, it's a journey to 15 lakh kilometers away from here. Mm -hmm. But once the satellite reaches there, that is when the reality uh, hits yes. you 
the terror the moment. Beauty, yeah, the terror moment. But then once you pass the terror moment, that is when you really start. Uh -huh.